Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing very well. Today we're in the A10C2 and we're looking at the modes of the HUD, the heads-up display and the various symbology. First thing to say, for the scope of what we're looking at today, this is going to be identical to the A10C1, the Warthog. This is the A10C2, the tank killer. Next, in terms of the scope, we're going to look at the basic symbology that are on these various modes, but we're not going to go further into sub modes. The reason being, if we did, this would be a two or three hour video. Those, however, will all be covered in the relevant tutorials in this playlist, like the various weapons, the various types of navigation, etc. First, let's look at the modes, and as you probably know, to change through the modes, we're just going to push master mode control button. The first hub mode will be presented with will always be nav. If we press Press our button, we'll get to the next. Guns, this is for air to ground guns. Next is CCIP continuously computed impact point, air to ground. Next, CCRP continuously computed release point, again air to ground. Press again and we're back to nav. Also, if we press and hold the button, we'll get to air to air mode. So, press once more and we're going to start with nav. This dash circle with a dot is our depressible pipper. It's fixed essentially above the bore sight of the aircraft and using the UFC down here and possibly other methods we can depress it by a certain amount downwards. Next this is our barometric altitude in feet. Next is our current attitude of our pitch in degrees so we're currently climbing at six degrees. Next is our current radar altitude and you can see it's blank at the moment because we're out of limits in terms of altitude. Next is our currently selected steer point we currently have steer point zero selected and the reference or the name of that steer point is init posit initial position next the current range of that steer point from us is 3.1 miles dts direct to steer so as the crow flies next is the amount of time and current parameters in minutes and seconds before we get to that steer point next is our clock note this is utc slash gmt not local time so currently 0825 local time is gmt plus four next is our heading tape this is a magnetic heading but it can be set to true here is our pointer so we currently have a magnetic heading of zero five two associated with the heading tape is our azimuth to get to our currently selected steer point an arrow to the right and a heading of 217 so we need to fly 217 magnetic heading to get to steer point zero next is our speed association so our speed of which we will only have one our sense of point of interest is currently associated with steer point zero i suppose we can ever so quickly go and change that if we were to move to our tgp here with soy right this is all covered in other tutorials so don't worry and assign a speed on our teapot or our tgp you can see the speed is now assigned via the teapot tgp can reset that back to the steer point and our speed is now signed back to steer point zero steer point next up here d5 slash b1 and i'm going to bring rc in for that explanation DTSAS mode and FOM message. This field displays the DTSAS mode and FOM message as set on the EGI CPU. Next we have our SOI marker here. If the HUD is selected as SOI sensor of interest, which means that we can essentially work via the HUD, then it will have this star assigned to it. If not, for instance, if I were to assign our SOI to one of the MFDs, then that star disappears assign the soy back to the HUD and you can see we've got the star again. L means that the laser is currently armed. If we were to disarm that, the L would disappear. And if we were to fire our laser, the L would flash. Here is our current airspeed. Here is our current G loading. More flight instruments. We've got our pitch ladder, which is indicating our pitch. So we've got the horizon line is that solid line there. We've got plus five degrees pitch here, plus 10 degrees pitch here, and then we would have minus five and minus 10 and so on. The usual format is that the down ticks here are towards the horizon line. They will be up ticks in the negative pitch and the positive pitch values have solid lines and the negative pitch values will have dashed lines it's just universal display mode for a pitch ladder next is our designator and if i were to take control of that because we've got the hud currently soy i have the ability to slew this chap round here 
and here's our TDC. The current area I'm pointing at is in the middle of the sky, which is not valid for a TDC, hence it'll have a cross through it. We go into more details with this in various air-to-ground tutorials. Next is the circle with the wings and the tail, that is our velocity vector, otherwise known as a flight path marker. That is telling you exactly where, in current parameters, the aircraft is flying. It will not be the same direction as the aircraft is pointing. There is always a difference in that, and that difference is known as your angle of attack, at least in terms of pitch. The next is our line here that is pointing us to our current speed. We have a speed currently located at steer point zero. I think it's somewhere behind us. And we've got this line pointing out towards that speed from our flight path marker, which is telling us the shortest direction to get to that speed is currently that, so turn right, basically. And we will have some more information about that. It's 170 degrees roughly off to our right, so it's basically right and behind us, and it's 3.1 miles. If I were to turn right and follow that direction, then this marker here would become centralised. That's nav done. Let's go to gun. So gun everything is the same with a few changes first of all we've got our bore sight cross it has many names but that cross there is where the gun is pointing also we have weapons information the current ammo loaded into our gun is combat mix and of combat mix we have 1150 rounds this shows that the weapon is armed our master arm is on Finally, we have a gun reticle down at the bottom there, and we're not going to go into that because we go into that fully in the gun's tutorial. But that will be how we aim the gun. Press master mode, off to CCIP. It's all the same as the gun, except weapons information. We do not have a current weapon selected. If we had a current weapon selected to use in this mode, it would say the name of the weapon there. And if we were in parameters to use that weapon, like the weapon was set up correctly and so on, then then we have here manual release it essentially means that we're ready to fire the weapon if for instance the weapon was not ready to fire then it would not have manual release here press again for ccrp and there is nothing new there to show you press again we're back to nav so all we've got to do is the air to ground so push and hold button you can hear an audio tone that's the growl of the sidewinder we have the circle up here which is the sidewinder reticle that is showing where the currently selected sidewinder is seeking and that will move in various places inside the hut these little dynamic lines here are the mrgs they're part of the manual gun aiming system covered fully in the gun tutorial we've got a slight change at the bottom here we've got with regards to the weapon information man fxd manual fixed this means that the air to air weapon is currently set up to fire or aim at fixed wind aircraft rather than rotary re aircraft and in other hud sub modes we can go and change information relating to that manual fixed wing aircraft things like the wingspan of the aircraft and so on again obviously covered in other videos and again the rounds remaining this here is to say that our currently selected weapon is ready to fire E, we cannot find anywhere in the user manual. Please let us know if you know that. That's all we've got to show for the basic modes and symbology. I hope that was useful and see you later.